Um, I made this little dish. Um, the plan was to um, run workshops on how to make them. Um, but because of my little grandson who lives with me, it never, never happened. But hey, you know, you can always do it another time, any time. Doesn't have to be Valentine's. Um, and or it could be the next year. I'll be ahead of myself for next year. <laughs> anyway, what I'm doing at the moment, I've just got a little file. You could use sandpaper. And I'm just smoothing off the edges. This has been bisque fired, so this has been put in the kiln um, up to a thousand degrees. Um, so it's not quite as fragile as it would be before firing, but it's still quite soft. It's earthenware clay, so that's soft anyway. Um, and the reason I need to get these sharp bits off is because once it's glazed, those sharp bits will be even sharper. And that would not be good. I think that's the worst of it off. Um, typical. Didn't bring a little sponge over. Um, so I'll just get one. So I've got some water here, which I've already managed to spill because I'm a mucky pup. I was trying to set the camera up in place and uh, ended up spilling my water because I wasn't concentrating. So what I'm doing now is I've just got literally a very damp sponge and I'm just wiping off the dust. Because you don't want the dust to get in the way of the paints. And I am literally going to paint this. It's not normal paints, it's ceramic paints. Um, you could use um, chemical compositions such as cobalt or, you know, so colours basically in their natural state, but I haven't got any prepared. Uh, you just put the powder in a bit of water, mix it up and then paint it on. Um, but what I am going to do, is just put some quite like that colour. Don't know how much I'll need. Uh, you can buy these from pottery suppliers. Give the pots a bit of a shake. Um, so it's level to be a nice pink. Let's be. That's actually red, I think. It's supposed to be pink. Orange. Oh, doesn't look like I've got the pink in here. I'll go back to red. Red's good too. It's uh, uh, put it in my palette. <clears throat> uh, get a little paintbrush, and then I am going to paint over the marks that I've already made with vegetation so what I've done is I've taken a slab of clay and I've pressed vegetation into it which you can start see when it comes through a bit at the moment dark on there actually look really nice in those veins and put some light green on afterwards uh, mix it up a bit um, that I think it was a flower up there actually um, I pressed that's because that's a primrose leaf that looks like a primrose flower so I might just blocked up. Let's 
not very good yet though. Okay, we'll go orange then. <laughs> At first you don't succeed. Try something else. Yeah, that's better. So, let's clean my brush. So this comes out orange. Doesn't matter if you mix the two a bit. And like I say, I want to put the red over the love. Then taking a damp sponge, you can gently wipe back paints. matter if you don't get it all off but what you're trying to achieve is to try and leave some obviously in the places you want to I'll go around to this green next I love primrose leaves they are so pretty to work with just rinsing the colours off my It. Just take off as much as you want, and take more, less. And just play around with it until you're happy. <coughs> Once you've got the effect that you are happy with, that can then be clear glazed um, and put back in the kiln and fired and give them to the person you love.